Greetings and welcome to The Home Slice. This is a standard intro if you already know what's up with my 40 millimeter manila rope testing, the Andy rope test, then you can skip to this time listed on screen. This is where the actual edge test begins. If you haven't been here before, then you've caught me in the middle of a testing series where I'm taking Victorinox knives because they're simple steel that's mainly just steel. There's not a bunch of extra alloys and carbide things going on in them. And I'm testing what different sharpening stones do to them. I'm testing fine, medium, and coarse stones individually. Then I'm taking the best from those and I'm making what's called a dual grit edge. If you're new to the channel, a dual grit edge is where you sharpen one side coarse or medium and the other side of the edge you sharpen fine. It has some really interesting characteristics. Usually it creates an, an aggressive edge that lasts longer than it normally would with either coarse or fine, with some exceptions, which we're testing to find out. Anyway, my test consists of, I've got a little goofy rig that I slice through a one centimeter thick sisal rope and it's on a 45 degree wedge. It's intended to transfer that force down. And then I measure how many kilograms of pressure it took to slice through the rope while holding the rope vertical. That's intended to take forward motion and quantify how much pressure it took to slice through. This gives you some rough idea of edge aggression. The next test is to cut through a 40 millimeter thick manila rope. And then I test on a best machine tester to test how keen and nice the edge stayed. I do that until it's over 400 grams on the best tester, checking with microscope and checking to see when it loses shaving capability in between tests. After three, I will hammer the edge into a pine piano leg, and that's just to see if any of the edges break on impact. There are certain sharpening methods I've found that create an edge that's not as robust to impact tasks. And I wanna kinda of weed those out because for a working edge, I want it to be reasonably durable. Anyway, that's what we're testing for today. In just a second, we'll skip right over to the test footage and I will let you know what the finishing stone that we're actually testing was. What's up guys? Coming at you today with a test of the Suhiro Serax 1K water stone. It's a real cool stone recommended to me by Justin at Engineer's Perspective as sort of a stepping stone between coarse and finishing finer stuff. This number of 217 reflects the fact that I finished this on unloaded kangaroo and a lot of these medium grit stones I did that with. I did it with what I think now is the misguided belief that I would ruin them if I overstropped them. I've here frozen the slicing aggression for you so that you can see that it was 3.9. And although this edge looks nice and cleaned up, I've found in testing since that actually the quality of abrasives and my stropping stroke had more to do with whether the apex was really stable or not than the amount of strokes or overstropping as I suspected. So these medium grit stones I think might be worth revisiting because at the time I thought, oh, I better lay off them with the strop to leave them aggressive. But most of them, the Easy Lap 1200, this 1000 grit, Suhiro, and several others, they look in the end like they could have used a little bit more deburring. We've got pretty average numbers in terms of the other mid-grit stones, but not very close to our record holders here in the first pass. And the second pass, the Suhiro Serex edge got very, very, very difficult. And as you can see, it's jumped all the way up to 725 grams on the best. So I think that if you're going to use a mid-grit stone, I think you've got to be careful about your deburring on the stone and you've got to be careful about your stropping and really use high quality abrasives. Here at the slicing aggression follow-up test, after just two times through the Andy rope, we have registering a maximum number of 9.9. .9. I've frozen it there on the screen for you. So kind of a bit more bad news. It also was so difficult to initiate that I had to go through the rope two times for a total of six kgs of aggression lost. Now, at the time, I was not very proficient at looking at the microscope, and indeed, I still have a lot to learn. 
But if you look at the apex, you will see that there are areas that are very clearly shiny and reflective back at you, and other areas which are very clearly not shiny, and it looks as if bits of the apex are leaning towards you and bits away. This is a very similar story for the other water stones that I have used, and I think that these water stones have been awesome in a dual grid edge, but I would need to do more work on my stropping to use them as a single finishing stone for a finer middle grit edge. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this test. If you want to check out the last test I did of the Easy Lap 1200 grit diamond plate, links on the screen now. Otherwise, peace out from the home slice. Take care.